Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is the weekly landscape update video I do most weeks on this house that I moved into in Raleigh, North Carolina, Zone 7B. Uh, I moved in here sometime in the mid to late fall of last year. So I'm coming up on a year, I guess about 10 months or something. Uh, at this point, I've been working hard on this landscape project uh, since the beginning of the year. There are, uh, if you've been following along, uh, you know how far uh, it, it's actually come. You saw at the beginning of the video, I put down triple shredded hardwood uh, this week and I'm just finished putting uh, pine straw uh, in the paths. It's not a very good quality pine straw, so you, you can't really tell the color difference is what I was going for there. Would there be two different colors? But um, the pine straw was a little bit old, which happens um, a lot of times, especially this time of year. It's hard to get fresh pine straw uh, here in the uh, mid, to, uh, mid, mid to late summer. But it's doing its purpose. Those paths will eventually be uh, stone uh, and, uh, and, uh, and or some mixture of stone and pine straw and plants that you can walk on, that kind of thing. Um, so th that'll be coming. Uh, hopefully uh, during the winter, I think is when I'll do a lot of these hardscape uh, things here. Uh, coming up here in the next, uh, the next few videos I do, I'm gonna do a whole tour of this place and then I'm going to break it down into uh, annuals, perennials and shrubs and trees. Uh, successes and failures uh, for 2020. Almost everything I have, I've been pretty lucky uh, for this to be the first season. Most of the things in this yard have really taken off uh, pretty quickly and it's pretty lush back here. And this uh, uh, triple, the, the dark brown color of that triple shredded hardwood uh, looks great. I had, when I started this project, there was a tree being cut down up the road if you've been following along and, and I took that free wood chips. But the color on it, you know, has that that light wood color and it doesn't really allow your plants to really pop. Uh, so I got that done. I use a, uh, sh a snow shovel. Uh, if you can put your mulch on a hard surface, meaning a street or a driveway or something like that, uh, you can use a snow shovel uh, fairly easily uh, as long as you get on the job pretty quickly. You know, when the mulch lands, it's pretty fluffy uh, from being in, you know, from them loading it and then unloading it uh, and it's easy. Uh, once it gets rained on several times, uh, it can get pretty compact and it's harder and harder to work with. But I've always used that snow shovel and then people ask, uh, is it easier than a fork? And uh, I've used, um, I've been doing this since I was uh, 16 years old and uh, I've used every technique you can imagine uh, for uh, spreading mulch. And, and I do feel like as long as it's a newly dumped load on a hard surface, that snow shovel is by far and away the easiest uh, thing to use. Uh, a lot of people swear by a manure fork and I've used manure forks, I've used small forks. I have, I have forks here as well. And I did, uh, I find when I use the fork is if I dump several um, piles close to one another and then too close to one another and then I have some extra in that space and I wanna move it around, fork makes quick work of doing that where the snow shovel wouldn't do anything uh, in that situation. It really needs a hard surface. Uh, to slide on, but I've worn a lot of those shovels out over the years, just scraping them on uh, concrete over and over and over again. Another thing you need to know on like, when you, if you get a load of triple shredded hardwood, uh, if you have a, a newer, especially a newer concrete driveway, if it rains on it uh, anytime after it lands on that driveway, it will stain your driveway pretty badly. It's hard to, and it's hard, even hard to power wash it off. Uh, so keep, keep that in mind. You wanna get it um, off as quickly as possible, especially on a newer, really brightly, um, new uh, driveway. I learned that the hard way as a landscaper uh, before. I had an epic rain. Uh, I got this load of mulch um, the end of last week. It didn't rain and then Monday I got I put a tremendous dent in it. Monday night got three and a half inches of rain and it made yesterday working out here uh, pretty difficult but I wanted to get it moved forward. Today was the pine straw so that was the last step. A couple other things I did this week. Um, I put in a, a new Mahonia over here that I'll shoot an individual plant video for. Uh, and I put in uh, three hydrangeas over here on the side of the house. And uh, that's that heartthrob hydrangea that I have a video on. I shot not that long ago. It's almost an almost red hydrangea macrophylla. They got planted over here on the side of the house. But this place looks super crispy. Um, I've got my, um, I think I showed last week the broccoli and uh, several other of my cool season crops are in over there and they look great. I have them under a, uh, uh, a uh, it's a frost protection blanket is actually what it is, but uh, I use it to keep the uh, cabbage moths and I can see one flying around here right now. There's a little white moth, a butterfly looking white uh, thing, but it's actually a cabbage moth and it lands on all those brassicas and lays eggs underneath the leaves, sometimes on top of the leaves, but most of the time under the leaf where you can't see it and then they quickly go to work. Uh, chewing up those plants. So that's, I'll keep that cover over there till I stop seeing um, 
this cabbage moth uh, fluttering around in the yard. They're quite pretty, <laughs> except for uh, I will have no broccoli and, and, and no kale and no, no lots of crops. I got a rabbit over here right beside it too, right this minute. And uh, so that's also a good thing that I have them covered for that reason. My peas have come up along the fence over there and I've put, I've planted all of my lettuce seed, well not all, but the first round of lettuce seed and uh, some more broccoli and I put some peas directly in a tray. Peas can be planted in the ground without any problem, but I had some room in a tray, so I just went ahead and put some in a tray. All that stuff is up and I'll get that planted uh, for the next video. I may skip a week here because I have so much content that I can do just covering the plants out here. Uh, a lot of things, I'm sure um, I've planted so much stuff out here every week all year that I've missed several things that I've put in the ground that you guys haven't seen at all. So I want to just kind of go through and cover pretty much uh, everything uh, in a set of videos uh, coming up. But that's pretty much the update. This place is, um, um, as you saw from the drone, you saw how far it's come. Uh, I'll put up a couple older um, drone uh, photos up right now. And you can see, you know, from, you know, from the beginning of the year until now, uh, how far along uh, this place has come. And I finally kind of got all the the noxious weeds under control. This place was just absolutely covered in a complete circle around here. And I'm also going to have, just thought of, I'm also going to have a what's next video because there's lots of things that I've talked about doing here that haven't come to the top of the list yet that will start coming to the top of the list. So my next weekly update may be more of a what my next steps are here uh, to move this forward. I'm down to uh, uh, a lot of what I'll be doing going forward is going to be fences and uh, stonework and a driveway and I got to change the siding on the front of the house and yada 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 I'll just run that run through that list and show you what those things look like currently and what they'll look like a little later I'll probably put the drone back up and uh, and talk through that when I do that but thank you very much for following along with these uh, weekly landscape updates there's a, a playlist on my channel that you can go back and watch all of these and you can actually see how far this is uh, this has uh, moved forward over the last whatever it is, eight months or nine months that I've actually been working on the landscape portion of this yard. Thanks for watching.